The Los Angeles Times on April 21st, you said that the, you told the Associated Press uh, that the American government has created weather tampering techniques so that the new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans and to control the rest. Would you explain what you were trying to say? Well, it, it, what I was trying to say is exactly what I said. There is weather control techniques. We have a complete package on that, which I did not bring, but I certainly will see to it that it is brought in for the record. Number one, the entire patents on the equipment. Number two, Senator Claiborne Pell's complete statement and story of his own that not only does it exist, but that we even utilize it as far back as the Vietnam War. President Bush, how did this come about? Well, Larry, the first thing I heard of it was when somebody from the White House called, it might have been the Chief of Staff, and asked if uh, I would be willing to participate in a fundraising effort uh, to help the people over there and the, the victims of the tsunami. And of course I said yes, and they said, well, President Clinton would be uh, side by side with this and that made it all the more attractive for me and I think for the country and I think for the relief effort itself so it, it just evolved and and uh, so today uh, President Clinton and A I met with the from president Indonesia in, for the first time in, in shows Washington. the devastating tsunami uh, and we got our marching orders Aceh you might say in a sense ago. and then we've gone the video out shows and a roiling torrent of dark brown water as it can. engulfs a busy street picking up cars and minivans and sending people scrambling up the sides of buildings. The tape broadcast by Metro TV was filmed by a cameraman who normally shoots weddings. He started filming shortly after a 9.0 magnitude quake struck under the Indian Ocean December 26, toppling buildings. The video shows people milling about on the streets of Banda Acha, apparently unaware that a massive surge of water was heading toward them. I am very pleased to have a chance of greeting all Sufayans scattered through many countries but gathered in this worldwide electronic square. I do hope and pray that you continue to bear this lux veritatis, light of the mind and light of the heart, and that the next century will be a little bit better because the Sophia family has kept aflame the torch of truth. Sophia, Chie, Supreme Wisdom, the name of the university that you all love. God bless you.